Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be looking at a stats principle in Algebra 1, correlation and causal relationships. The question reads, which correlation shows a causal relationship? So we have four options here that we're going to be uh, looking at and determining which, of, which one out of all four represents uh, or shows a causal relationship. All right. So before we get started with um, inspecting the four problems, let's refresh our memory on what causal relationships are. All right, so let's do a real quick recollection here. So something that you want to recall is as follows, which is that um, a causal relationship, if you take a look at the name um, and examine it closely, uh, you can easily determine where it originates from. It originates from the word cause. You cause something to become, right? So a causal relationship involves cause, okay? So a causal relationship is one where one event causes another event to occur, okay? Causes another event to occur all right you can think of it as it is a like the name suggests a cause and effect relationship all right let's consider an example of a causal relationship for example what happens when you heat up water what happens to the temperature? The temperature goes up, right? So for example, when you heat up water on the stove, heat up water, or in the microwave, the temperature goes up. Okay, so the first event is heating up the water, and the second um, event is the temperature going up. Is it a causal relationship? Definitely. Heating up water causes the temperature to go up. One thing to note about causal relationships is that it always holds true. All right. You don't have a situation where it happens in certain cases and in other cases, that's, that's not a causal relationship. Causal relationships always hold true. All right. So let's keep that in mind and take a look at the four options that we have here. The first one is option one. The more minutes an athlete is on, on the playing field, the more goal he scores. Is that always true or sometimes true? Well, this relationship between minutes the athlete plays and goals scored is not a causal relationship because this does not always happen, okay? It's not always true. How do we know that it's not always true? What if we have a horrific player, okay? All right, so bad that the, the player can't even score if there's no one protecting the goalpost, right? So uh, example, a bad player that scores no goals, right? The player cannot score a goal just to save his, his life, right? A bad player that can score so no matter how long you keep the person on the clock playing they can it doesn't make any difference all right so this is not a causal relationship there are certain cases where the the longer certain players play they score more goals but it's not always the case it depends on the the skill level of the player and also how good the opponent is all right okay let's take a look at the next one the more gasoline you purchase at the pump, the more you pay. So more gas, more money. Is that always true? Absolutely. If you look, if you drive to a gas station, you see the price, the price list there is based on how much gasoline you buy, right? So it could be right now $6 per gallon. So $6 a gallon. So every gallon you buy, you're paying $6. So the more gallons you buy, the more of that six dollar denomination that you pay for all right so this particular relationship is always true 
all right the reason is because the price you pay is calculated based on how much gasoline you buy right how much gas you pump this is an example of a causal relationship all right so we have the answer to this question is option number two let's take a look at three and four and discuss why those options are not causal relationships okay number three the longer a shopper stays at the mall the more purchases she makes is this always the case no it's not always true right what is an exception can we create an exception what can cause this statement to fail well what if she has no money or she runs out of money can she continue shopping after her money runs out the answer is no right if she has no money or runs out of money she can she can't she can't shop anymore okay all right let's take a look at number four as the price of a gift increases the size of the gift box incre increases so we're looking at the um so let's look at number three again we're, we're talking about the longer she stays at the mall longer to stay the more the purchases so those that's not a causal relationship okay and then number four the price of a gift as that increases the size of the gift book inc increases is that always true absolutely not okay not always true sometimes the smaller gifts are the ones that are even more expensive not always for example uh, let's say um, you're looking at two items one is a, a ps5 and uh, the other is a, is, a, is a diamond ring okay a rare diamond ring so which one is going to take a bigger box, right? So uh, a diamond ring, for example, a diamond ring has a much smaller box, right? Has a smaller gift box, <laughs> gift box than a PS5, but it costs more right it could cost millions of dollars right whereas ps5 is just a thousand dollars or more but costs more so the size of a of a um the price of a gift and the size of the box is not a causal relationship okay so it's, it's totally independent so the answer to um, this question is option number two the more gasoline you purchase at a pump the more you pay cause and effect thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation don't forget to help support our channel tons of support resources can be found on our website matgotserve.com or just take a look at the links in the description below thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day we'll see you in the next video goodbye